Today, we're going to try and fix the shift to park issue on a second gen Chevy Volt. Uh, I believe the same issue happens on the Cruze, possibly the Malibu. Pretty much anything with this shifter on it. So, this has been kind of a pain in the ass for me. They've changed this part number five times since it originally came out. Now, this one here is not the newest version because the newest version is currently, according to Chevy, indefinitely backward. So this is the fourth version, which I don't know what the difference that they changed between the fourth and fifth version because I don't think anybody's going to know. But hopefully this is what will fix the part because it's what my dealer had in stock. It's the only thing I can get my hands on within the next few months and I'm tired of the shift to park option. So a uh, quick disclaimer. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. I haven't taken this apart before. I'm a mechanic, but I've never done this exact job before, so we'll learn together. Okay, these are all the tools you're going to need. A pry bar set. You're going to kind of need a variety of pry bars. These are the two I use most. A flathead screwdriver in place of the pry bars if you want. It's nice to get in there and get little clips out, but either one of these will work if you don't have one or the other. A 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench. You're really going to need this. I don't know how you're going to do it without it. Definitely want this. And a hook of some kind, a small metal hook for pulling out little clips and pins. And a light source because it is dark in there. Okay, let's look at the part. There's only one bolt right here that runs all the way through it. It's a nut and bolt. Get that out. And then there is a plug here. This is towards the rear of the car. So there's a plug there. There's a little little circle thing that clips over this that just pulls off. And there's a push button clip that releases here. You'll see it all in the video. And then there are these little notches here. This is snaps in and you just pull it back and pull up. That's how it's going to come out. You'll see it all in the video, but sometimes it's a little nicer to see it here before. All right. Let's get started. Okay, sorry, I, my camera didn't really record this part, but what happened is here, I started from the back here, lifted up the center console, start from the back where the chrome ends, just got right under the chrome and started popping it up, popping it straight up. And I went all the way along, popping it all the way up until the whole thing came loose. Now there's a bunch of plugs underneath here. Um, they're all straight forward. They just have little uh, push tabs on them and they unplug. They're all different, so it doesn't really, you can really mix them up. I'll show them to you when I get them off. Now this part, this uh, boot, uh, I lifted this up first because I couldn't tell what was holding the boot on. There's six clips, one there, two, three, and the same on the opposite side, four, five, six. There's six clips holding it in, so if you can get like a really thin screwdriver or a small plastic, plastic pry tool, you can get in there and release those clips. I noticed if you pull the top off first, you can see them from underneath very easily. So it made it very easy to undo. Now, it looks like there's a clip here and here that's holding it on the shifter. So I'm just gonna use this little hook here. And then there's two clips here, a clip here and a clip here. Let's see if we can get it to focus on it. So yeah, there we go. Clip here, a clip here. You're gonna lift up both of them with a pry tool just like that on either side and pull it, push it down. And then I'll just slide down. There we go. Now it's slid down. And it looks like right here is a metal clip that's gonna hold it in. So it looks like we can just use a little tool and push that metal clip out and the shifter slides off. Look at that. I don't know how long we were working on this. Okay, so that's that. Now I undid all of the plugs under this already, but there's a plug here, 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 here. So what is it? there's one, two, three, four plugs on the, on this uh, center console. And then there is a plug for the shifter right here. So it comes out of there. So I already unplugged that. All right, let's put this somewhere safe so it doesn't break. 
Okay, so right here, there is a 10 millimeter bolt. I've already gotten the nut off of it. It was very tight to get in there. I was successful with a ratcheting wrench. I was able to kind of get it in there on an angle and work it out. Now it has to slide all the way across. So if you push it out, oh, there's a washer on it too. Didn't notice that. Now it slides through. I had to cut a zip tie right here to make room. So there's the bolt right there, that shiny thing. Okay, so there are the nuts out. So it looks like you don't have to take the sides off, so don't do that. That's it there. Just so I don't lose it, I'm just gonna slide the pieces back together so you don't lose them. Okay, well looking at the part that's on the table, I can see that it looks like it has to pull back. So we're just gonna try and pull back. There we go. All right, now it's loose. Now if you look over here, there's a clip that's holding the actual shifter that's connected to the transmission right here. So now we're gonna have to figure out how to get that undone, so. Okay, so this thing here, this literally just popped off. All I did was get this hook behind it and pull and it just snapped off. So, well not snapped off, came off. So now we need to figure out how to disconnect this down in here. Okay, this piece here looks like it's a button. Slides in, so push it in and then kind of just release it. And two hands, there we go. And then, okay, there we go, the shifter is out. Uh, let's head over to the bench and compare, just make sure it's the right part. Okay, here's the old one, here's the new one. It does look correct. You can see these are the little pieces that, where I knew you had to slide it back to release it, because it actually sits like this in the car. So you pull it back and pull it up. This is the only bolt holding it in, it's this one right here. But, all right, let's uh, reinstall it. Okay, so the reinstall process is just the reverse of the taking it apart process. Uh, I'm trying to go through it in detail just in case I missed anything when I was taking it apart or didn't record it. So first things first, these four notches are going to fit in here, but we're going to try and squeeze this white thing on first. It was just a push button, so it might not even need to be pushed in to go back together. Probably just snaps in. Kind of, I can see it. There we go. Okay, so that piece, this little white thing, just pushes back in, snaps. Then we're gonna attach this guy. This just pushes on. That's it. Pretty straightforward there. Now we line our four little tabs up. Just make sure all the wires are out of the way. You don't want to pinch them. Line our four tabs up. They're further forward than they appear. There we go. Push it forward. There we go. Locked in. Now let's plug the shifter back in. Go a little slower. Right here. Um, all these plugs are different, so they can't go in the wrong spot, luckily. Just make sure we have our four plugs visible there we go there are the other two so we have four plugs make sure you don't have them down in there there make sure they're available okay now we're going to slide the bolt in so it has a nut and a washer this is kind of a tight squeeze kind of had to take it out on an angle uh, you didn't have to undo this to get it out so don't do that kind of get an idea it goes straight across the silver line right here right there is where the bolt is, so just kind of eye it up on the other side. And there's this big power cable in the way, so it is uh, a little tough to see. Okay, now we're now you can see it sticking through on that one side. We're gonna slide our washer on, and we're gonna slide our nut on. Kind of tight squeeze. Just want to get it started. 
I need two hands in there. Okay. Got it started. Let's try and run it up as much as we can with our fingers. Okay. Now it was a 10 millimeter, remember? Uh, this one I think got me a little lucky because it's it recessed or it's like extended out a little bit because it's kind of like recessed in there. So that little bit of extension seemed to have helped me make a difference because there's no way I'd get a ratchet in there and this would suck with a wrench. Okay, so now it's nice and tight. That bolt is the only thing that holds the shifter in besides for those four little clips where it just slides in. All right, now we're going to put the shifter, no, we're gonna put the cover back on. Okay, now this part goes back on. I took the time to clean this area out here because who knows if you'll ever have it apart again. There are plugs for all of this stuff. They are all different. There's one here, 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 and here. Let's take a quick look at the plugs. This one here has a button, pushes down to release. The button was the opposite direction, so it's kind of hard to see. This one here, same thing, little white button. This one here just pulled out. And this one here, little black button right there. So that is it. Let's uh, kind of line this back up. I'm gonna have to kind of heel on the ground outside the car to get these plugs in. Make sure you push them in until they click. And like I said, they go in their designated spots and nowhere else, so you can't really mess this up. Okay. Now, this is it's like a model. There's nothing special about it. It literally just snaps down. It's like a toy car. Let's go around, give it a couple pushes. I think that is it. That's all the way snapped in. Just give it a tug up, make sure it's not coming back up. Everything seems tight. Let's uh, put the boot back on. The pin fell in here. So first the boot has to go on. Uh, there we go, it is directional. It's wider at this rear of the car. it up a bit there we go kind of just get it gently set in there but don't snap it in just yet now we're gonna slide the shifter back down make sure it feels like it works and the pin this little j-shaped pin looks like it's the short side goes towards the passenger side and there's a groove somewhere. Here it is over here on this side. This groove here, right there. That's what this pin slides in. That, that groove lines up with this groove. Okay, so this turns out takes a bit of force. Gotta kinda tap it down until it starts springing back. If it doesn't spring back, it's not down far enough. Now remember, short side towards the passenger side Kind of clip it around there. My little metal hook. Let's kind of pull it in. That's good. Give it a yank up, make sure it doesn't come off. Now this part just slides up and snaps. There we go. Heard the click. Affirmative. Now the bottom, same thing, six snaps. And there we go. And that's it. Let's uh, try and put it in gear. Okay, uh, let's give it a start. Put it on the brake, try and start it up. All right, put it in reverse. 
Okay. Drive. Okay. Let's go all the way back into L. Let's go through all the gears. It's actually a lot smoother than the old one. Let's just make sure everything works. Those are working. Let's go through the modes. Okay. And let's try and set the parking brake. There we go. It's everything we unplugged and it all works. So hopefully that fixes my shift to park issue. Uh, if not, I'll update you. If for some reason it comes back. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below.